The Florida Department of Business and Professional Regulation confirms that a restaurant in Belle Glade had to temporarily close and eight restaurants across our area have been cited due to the presence of flies. This as a restaurant in Delray Beach just reopened today after they decided to close their doors because the flies would not stop bugging the customers. It was becoming too much of a burden, where as a manager, you know, it was uh, embarrassing to go up to a table and having them swat their, you know, their face because of the flies. Ocean One Bar and Grill at Delray Marketplace was overrun with flies late last month. And disrupted our business. Over the last three weeks, the restaurant installed screens, added more fans, and put in bug zappers on the fans and lights. The managers were excited to reopen today. You know, serving the community is everything to us, and we started getting a big bad rap from, you know, the flies that were not our problem, but we had to handle it. So I'm very happy. As far as stopping them from coming into an area, as what happened with uh, the marketplace, that's very difficult to do. Edward Sherwin of the company Food Safety and Inspection Services, which helps restaurants develop plans to comply with all state health standards, says while the situation at Delray Marketplace was unavoidable due to environmental factors, there are a few steps restaurants can take, but he says cleanliness is paramount. It's very important for proprietors to be proactive. It's very important to keep their establishments clean and sanitary and it's all the time. At Prezo Italian Restaurant in Boca Raton, where the flies have not been a problem, ownership is trying to stay one step ahead of those pesky bugs. We started doing a, a complete dumpster sanitation uh, more frequently than we were doing in the past. Uh, we've also had our pest control company come out more frequently uh, to just uh, continue to stay proactive against it. And we're still waiting to hear back from state leaders to find out what environmental factors are causing this issue. Reporting live in Palm Beach County, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.